everybody today we're going to flip through this book over here and this is terrain essentials a book about making war gaming terrain by mal bose I, i'm not sure how you pronounce that but is it mal bose i hope so the terrain tutor now he actually has a youtube channel um which i actually go to and you know for for tips and stuff like that so you might be asking me if he's got a youtube channel why on earth would i get his book firstly i think it's a, a great way to show appreciation for someone who's done you know, who's creating a lot of good content uh, to actually go out and get the book. Um, another good reason for you to get the book is, of course, you actually have all the tips that he has and all the knowledge he's got at the edge of your own fingertips. So, personally, yeah, why not? Go out and get yourself the uh, Terrain Essentials by Mel. All right, so let's look inside. First off, as you can see over here, there's already some good design already. You've got a little bit of a, you know, that uh, green cutting board mat or whatever it is, you know, as the as the basic design. Um, you've got yeah, um, introduction. Very nice here. It's got a little like cartoon. Um, yeah, very sweet. Dedicated to Corbin Willow, my finest creations. The reason I do what I do. Very sweet that. Okay, so over here we see his um, his uh, workshop. I like a picture like this. I wish more people would post pictures like this because it gives me ideas on how for me to, to set up my own little workshop, my own little studio. So there, nice little picture over there. So you got the, the table of contents, um, which is what we will go through in a bit. Um, and over here, uh, a little bit of a safety guide right there, goggles and stuff like that. Now, um, in this book, he uses a few glossary of terms, which I'm glad he uh, he was very clear about in the beginning, because when you use a certain word, it could mean so many things to different people. So by setting it out straight, you know, it's it's great for him to like write and for us to you know to know what he's talking about. Some nice pictures, uh, time and attention. So getting good technique is uh, is everything to be honest. Whether it be it's, it's painting, or um, you know building terrain right so it's practice right and uh getting getting the right technique down the first time is huge so i i, I totally agree these techniques are your foundation and and truly um once you get your foundation right you can almost build anything on top of it so we got we got a little bit of um how do i how do i put it? it's um i want to say it's his methodology yeah, so you've got, you know, how he, he looks at design work where, you know, he talks about the planning part. So, so this this is the planning stage, right? He talks about the realism and functionalism. We actually built a lot of terrain for the shop and I do realize when I first started building terrain, you know, we, we started building stuff which was huge, you know, and uh, we realized we couldn't transport it. You know, we had a 4x4 four four, uh, board which we wanted to go to... Uh, um, to do demos and realize we couldn't transport it and we got like stuff which was we were trying to get as much detail inside and it, it, it ended up becoming a mess so this is great somebody's actually thought about it and put it in a book so um and it's in the planning stage of the um um of the yeah with the book and it, over here as you can see he tells you that uh, okay you got you know for high durability is for kids you know high realism is diorama and you got this whole you know different uh i want i want to say i want to say uh, detail and more work that you have to go through to, to get these done and this is good this is good reading actually to be honest you know it 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 helps you put you in the right frame of mind you know on how to get these things done because of course you'll be teaching your technique but also teaching you how to plan is a gr is great step you know including planning your table before you actually get around to doing it um here are the ter here are, here are the tools that he uses and it's nice that he has a variety of tools you know, from different manufacturers, which is great. Um, he introduces you to, introduces you to the, the library. I call it the library of, like, terrain that I've got. You know, different kind of brushes that you can use. Um, drying rack. I've never used this before, a drying rack. And I think it's a great idea. Such a simple thing to, to do. Um, and I'm, I'm glad, you know, you throughout the whole, this whole book, you've got little, like, little squares like this, which is, like, a, a great um, way for him to just say, hey, why don't you just check this out, you know, or try this out. Um, so yeah, over here you got all the clips, you know, all your tools. Um, then you got your uh, your glues, your acrylics, you know. 
um, everything from, um, I mean, you're building, you're building terrain, right? So everything from crowd paint all the way down to artist, artistic paints, you know, artistic acrylics work, you know, um, for you. Same goes for the sprays. As you can see, it's got some, you know, some branded sprays. Um, and you've got like inks from different manufacturers, uh, undercoats. And the whatchamacallits, he calls this the whatchamacallits, which is, yeah, I guess it is. And the, um, for me, one of the things I had to learn over the last, or last like, you know, decade or two is the different kind of glues and how they work differently uh, with the different things I make. And it's nice that now you've got something that's, uh, that's here for you to read and flip through just to have a look and see. Uh, or just to reconfirm what you already know. Parties and paste. Uh, you got the dry stuff, which is the boards and stuff like that. Stuff to scratch build. Basically, all the tools that you need. Um, here are, I'd like this. It's got natural materials. Like I said, if you've followed me on my uh, my earlier videos, you know that, you know, we here in Malaysia, you know, some in the early years, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd make our own bits and terrain, uh, bits of like flock and bits of like gravel. And it's nice that he, he talks about that here as well. As you can see, the different kinds of materials and having a nice material library for me is great. Uh, this is this is a section where you know, you know you go out to you go out to the wild you on your walks and you go pick stuff up and um, you work with it. Okay, so there you got the practicals, the methods and techniques. This one, this one obviously differs from one master to another. And over here, this is what he chooses chooses to use, and these are the techniques he wants he he goes through. I'm glad that uh, he's done it now. Hopefully, the other. Uh, trade makers will, will come up with books as well so that we actually have a library of different techniques for you to for you to do uh, So yeah, again, this is a war games terrain Building book so you got to see a lot of foam foam builds, you know, a lot of clamps <laughs> A lot of PVA um, But yeah, this is just this is just um, techniques, I guess the techniques um, on how to go around it some some brushing the different brushing uh, techniques uh, that you can you can try. And I'm glad he talks about that as well. You got, um, yeah, <laughs> here's some uh, some nice uh, some nice tips. You, you can use hairspray as your varnish or you can just use your normal an artistic varnish. Some tips like that. Very, very good. Um, looking through, you even stuff from, um, yeah, there are these rollers. I think, I think uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Green Stuff World actually sells this thing. Um, and you can actually like make make your boards. Uh, so you you're actually investing in one of these, so they can make a lot of this kind of boards. Um, and it's great. I like his, he, I like the fact that he you know he does a shout out to uh, products like this. And as we look along, then we've got the boards and bases. These are the the huge you know <laughs> huge boards that you can actually work with. Um, or how how you go about working around it. You know battle mats. Talk, he talks about battle mats a little bit. You know, and I like the fact that, you know, um, when it comes to stuff like this, um, he gives you a little bit of, um, yeah, he calls it Mel's deep thoughts, but it's, it's kind of great because you don't really think about this until it's happened to you, right? So you've actually have somebody who's, who's, uh, you know, teaching you something, uh, I think strictly from his own experience. So, so this is great, you know, uh, like, like, see so how it warp and, um, you know, that way when you're when, it, when you're actually putting to get one of these together, you know, actually going through this would actually give you some idea of, of what to worry about. Um, corruption free storage and how to store stuff, I guess. Making it modular. Modular terrain is actually an art form in itself, to be honest, if you ask me. So it shows you how to do that. You know, modular terrain. Groundwork, then this is basically the... Um, where they be basing for your bases or basing for your tables? How to get the different like effects like parch earth, you know. As you can see, it gives you step by step. So, in you, you know, if you're new, I, I, you know what? If you're new, this is an extremely essential book. Um, I understand, you know, spending a lot of money on miniatures, but no, but a book like this, man, is a great resource. Color science is also kind of great because um, you know, when you're painting, not just Knowing the colors that go on the figure, but no go no, no colors that work on the base is actually crucial as well. Uh, grass work, flocks, clumps, and tussocks. So as you can see earlier was gravel. Now you can see how he he puts these things together, like you know how he he sorts out his uh 
you know, static grass or different kinds of grass. Oh, hang on, it's got a little bit of like, woo. Um, you got tufts, how to place tufts, or why you place tufts, you know, or if you're like, ah, this is kind of great because it shows you uh, techniques on how to build a lot, a lot, a lot of, of, uh, of clump terrain, you know, um, and this is great because sometimes you, you're building like either for your for a tournament or you're building for a big board or uh, maybe one of your uh, one of your uh, dioramas which are huge and that's it. this is a great way to like you know, you know some tips on how to make how to make things cheap uh, rocks and landscapes rocks and hills you know very very good actually um I'm surprised a bit like this you know doesn't come often you know it, it's definitely something that you definitely need but I think it's kind of great it, it's coming from Mel because um you know looking just looking at his um just looking at his uh youtube channel which you should go to you know you know that he knows what he's talking about you know so you know a book from somebody who knows what he's talking about i mean that's a that's a that's a no-brainer trees and hedges um yeah we had some, we had some guys wanted to do like uh bocages and hedges they brought the stuff but they did not know how to get it done proper or oh, when they did do, put it together it, it looked look crappy so you know i guess coming back to why you should have gotten this book if this book was available like five ten years ago we'll have nf bookages for everything from um you know d-day all the way down to, <laughs> to as close as we can get to europe uh to, to germany uh we've got small bases large bases we've got tree barks uh tree working with amateurs and stuff like that to to build the trees um you know, you see trees like this a lot, a lot on like uh, demo game tables, especially the ones that I, I, you know, if you uh, look at tables, uh, on different like um, you know, war games conventions of which I have not been to, but I, uh, I, I, you know, I watch a lot of like YouTube videos and it looks, it looks like it's something like this, something really quick, something really simple, you know. Um, and now this is this is something which I get asked a lot in the shop. How to get some, how to get water effects happening, um, and different kind of products you can get, and it's great. It's great that you know you've got a whole section for it because you know what to be honest, resin pouring and uh you know water effects uh, is uh is something else, man. It's something else in a hobby. If you can get this done right, not only will your hobbying be great. I think your uh, I think you, I think if you later move on to build dioramas, your dioramas go to a different level altogether. So there you go. So you got like um, a whole area on uh, on pouring and. And how to do rapids and stuff like that. Um, waterfalls. So actually, as as you, as as you can see, it starts off with something like really really simple. You know, you know. Let's let's you know. It starts off with like okay, you know. Here's how to here's how to put together. You know, small hills and stuff. And it's, as it goes deeper and deeper, you see, you can start starting to build waterfalls. And then you know you got uh, winter. How to how to work with um with ice and 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 um snow um a lot of a lot of times folks folks get you know pots of snow from my store and it, it turns out you know not very great and here's here's like uh it's nice to have like somebody just talk you through it just talk you through it right um buildings and ruins achieving that lived in room or weathering weathering your your table so there you go you got a little little like how to build a shack as well buildings you know damaged buildings you know which is also kind of good. Nice ways to texture your walls. You know, using like a, I think, uh, I think it's teddy bear for, you know, to do stuff up for your for your roof, attach roofs and stuff like that. Um, a whole section on building houses and uh, buildings which is totally, totally crucial. Working with kids, which is kind of great, you know. Not only is he talking about like, you know, building stuff on your own, but you know, it gives a nod over to the different kits that are out there, all these MDF kits and uh, and uh, other kits which are available and just, you know, how to build them and how to get them uh, to work for you. And yeah, and finally, final thoughts. And this is by the publisher, uh, Dave Taylor. Now, as you can see, flipping through this book, um, it's, it's a tome. It's everything you need to know about train making. And it's actually a great reference for me, you know. And if you if you notice, you know, it's got little like little like um bookmarks over here, and it this tells you that even the makers know that you will be bookmarking certain parts of this book. 
you know it it's that crucial if you're if you're intending to uh build um huge tables if you're intending to um war game if you're intending to um do uh just build we might do stuff with your club for fun this book is essential because you know what terrain can be quite expensive but when you learn how to do it yourself you might be surprised how much how far your dollar can go so yeah that's pretty much it that's uh terrain essentials by mel bose the trade tutor um head on over to his youtube channel why not go and have a look at what he's got to offer and head on over to your local game store and and get this definitely worth a buy if you like videos like this like subscribe i will also have a buy me a coffee you know um yeah that's pretty much it i'm done don't forget to enjoy painting those figures <laughs>